this is size 10 buzzer hook and I will show the material as I go along first thread I'm using is UTC 70 color is red so just about start from here use touch and turn just take this piece off open the thread and then just go around the bend and come back up about three millimeter Uh, in fact, yeah, that's fine. Now the next material I'm going to be adding is a strip quill, which is a natural strip quill. It's already been stripped, so catch it just about here. And then use touch and turn. Come in back up and just stop just about there and bring your quill towards the eye. Just leave a decent gap in each turn, and that's done. Catch it gently, make sure you secure it and then take that piece off <clears throat> now just go back and forward and then whip finish take this thread off now the next material is UTC 70 black so different thread just for the head take this extra piece and touch and turn go back up again now I'm going to add a cheeks or wing birds I'm using grass color grass olive spawn flex which is about 0.5 millimeter thick so go around the thread and catch both end and then go beneath underneath the thorax and catch it and secure it a few more turn and then bring both of these spawn flicks towards the back and stretch it until you caught them properly now that's fine open the thread again by spinning anti-clockwise and now I'm going to add a flush it's a blue holographic tinsel which is about millimeter I think it's a medium size I don't have a kind of label on it but I, I think it's a medium or small but so I've just took one piece off so a lot of material I have has been I've had them for a long time so the labels came off um, just catch it on top of the hook make sure it's right in the middle and then go back a couple of turn sorry few turn and then use touch and turn and keep coming back towards the head 
open the thread I like to this is this is uh, my best uh, the, my favorite bozos one of my favorite actually uh, and I make it, the head is a little bit bigger so now that's fine uh, the next step is to bring both of these cheeks forward gently and just loosen them up like that you know if you want to stretch them it's entirely up to you as you saw on my other video I have to give them a little loose and then go around and thus I think that's just about fine now and then just scale them gently and all you have to do is give this one a stretch take that off and the second one okay I'm just gonna alter this up facing upward and then I'm gonna bring the flashback uh, no flashback sorry the blue holographic tinsel and then just catch it gently make sure take your time and when you're happy um, it doesn't have to be like a right in the middle it's just a, and that looks okay so what you have to do is if you turn catch it and in fact I will pull this one back if you turn just make sure you make a decent size of head and then we we'll finish that's fine chop this extra and flashback that's fine right the next step is to add some varnish or UV resins um, all to this now on the cheek I'm going to add extra olive is um, not olive is a um, permanent marker um, it's, uh, it's called a pearl green uh, the code is Y635 so you can buy that from Hobbycraft or any craft shop it just brings the nice coloring you know spring coloring out on the wing birds and cheek and that's enough and the next color I'm going to add just below the cheek uh, red again both side just in the bottom and that's done just give it a few minutes to dry this off okay I'm gonna use uh, UV raisins so for the head I'm gonna put decent amount just to make a round head on the top and just take your time make sure you don't spill that on the body yet and then cure it just give it for a few seconds and now just use more UV resins not too much just thin and dry the brush or needle just for a underneath the thorax and then cure it that's fine for the body just a decent amount just to show a little glass effect you know is smooth I mean if you have a brush fine or use needle entirely up to you whatever you find easy and there's some bits are missing in the head and that's the body done keep it upside down so 
and then cure this for a few seconds. In fact, I'm going to switch off the light so I can see better. I think that should be okay. It kills very nice if you charge your batteries every time, every day actually, if you're making quite a lot of flies. So then switch it back on again. As we all know, the U, all the UV resins are tacky. And if you touch them with your hand, then they go funny color, you know, the shine goes off. So the cure for that is add some varnish over it. Actually, I like adding varnish on this because it brings out really nice shine and everything, smoothness, and fill up all the gaps in the, you know, you left. So, that's the varnish is almost done. And so, this one is completed. Spring Colors Quill Buzzer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.